Hey and welcome all of you back to another video on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you how to go ahead and reduce input delay. So before this video starts, you can drop a like, subscribe to the channel, it will mean the world to me. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. The first thing you want to go and do is get yourself loaded into a creative. Uh, we did make a video fairly similar to this one about six months ago. Uh, this video, though, just got more updated stuff in there, uh, some extra stuff. We'll be mentioning some of the stuff from the previous video, but that's been the main things. Um, so let's get on with it. And the most important thing on this list is you want to go ahead and go into settings. You want to go and go into the second settings and you'll scroll all the way down to the bottom. This thing has been the most important thing to go and do. Going to reduce your input delay by the most. So you want to go down all the way to the bottom. You want to go down to replays and you want to make sure this is off. It's going to help you out so much having your replays just completely off. It's just extra stuff your games having to run in the background. It's probably the most effective thing on this whole entire list because all the other stuff is definitely going to be helpful. But this is going to be the most effective thing on the whole entire list. Second step, we didn't actually mention this in the last video. Uh, but this one you want to go again onto settings and you want to go all the way to the third one. And you want to go ahead and scroll down to target info. So if you're not sure what target info is, it's basically when you go ahead and play something, how it says like what buttons it is to edit, um, how much health it has, everything all about it there. If you want to actually go onto settings, you want to go onto the third one and you want to scroll all the way down to target info, you are going to go ahead and turn that off. Of course, that is going to mean like you're not going to know exactly how much health walls have and all of that, but it's going to help you out a little bit. Uh, going to mean there's going to be less input delay. Of course, it's not going to be a massive change, but every little bit definitely tends to help uh, when it comes to reducing input delay. So definitely consider this tip. We have the third tip on this list. Uh, we've definitely mentioned this one before, but you want to go ahead and go onto settings. You want to go all the way to the audio one. And then you want to scroll down to the subtitle section. Now, if you can have subtitles off, definitely recommend doing it. But if you really want to have them on, make sure they're on extra small. You've got on the text color as white, text border. You just want to have the text border completely off. And you want the background a pasty. I'm pretty sure I said that right. Uh, you want to have that unclear. You want to have that on just all the lowest settings there. It's just me, again, Lester, for your game to go ahead and run in the background. Definitely recommend doing this tip. Okay, so the next thing you want to go and do is you want to go and go into settings. You want to scroll all the way to the account and privacy section and you want to go ahead and have show text chat and show social notifications. You want to have them both off. These are going to be very small, very, very minor change, but make sure to turn them off. It's going to be one less thing for your game for in the background. Of course, having the least mad things in the background as possible is going to help to reduce your input delay overall. Okay, everybody, so the last tip for this video is this going to be people that are playing controller. If you do have a USB cable, it will be the same thing you used to go ahead and charge your controller with. You want to go ahead and plug that into your console. It's going to help reduce the uh, input delay overall. Um, of course, um, using Bluetooth, using wireless, that is perfectly fine to go ahead and do. But if you do go ahead and use a USB cable, it's going to be an extra little bit of help, extra little difference just to overall decrease your input delay. Thank you to everybody who managed to make it this far in the video. Of course, if you have managed to make it at this point, consider dropping a like, consider subscribing to the channel. Hope you found at least one of these things useful. Try to make the video as short and as simple for all of you to follow. Thanks to everybody who's watched this far. You are amazing, and see you in the next one. Bye.